Hey everybody, here you welcome back to another episode of Afterbirth Plus. In the last episode, we're gonna hit random here. I don't remember what happened last episode, so I'm gonna cut myself off there. I'm gonna hit random. I, I don't really feel like playing anyone besides Bite Me Isaac, um, but I don't wanna just play Isaac, if that makes sense. Um, because there's, there's all sorts of new stuff going on, I don't, I don't wanna just sit here beating Isaac endlessly. Having said that, if I'm not gonna play Apoleon, then I may as well play, play Isaac so we get more of a chance of seeing the new items, is my philosophy. Um, having said that, I, I only just came up with it then, and I've already chosen a character that isn't Isaac. Let's try and do some here, because uh, if you've noticed, I have not done any any post no stuff. 8QMPEKN0 is the seed for anyone who wants to uh, um, join in, and also when I, when I uh, inevitably die on uh, Caves 1, show me how it's supposed to be done. I definitely will not turn my nose up at that, for sure. Just make sure you put my name in the title so that if anyone sees it that doesn't see my video, they'll know who I am and then I'll get more views. Thank you. <laughs> things, have, things have actually been doing really well on, on these. I'm also, um, I've also. i just woken up in case you can't tell. Well, I say just. I mean, like, an hour ago and I've like been out and to the shop and come back since then, so, like, I don't know, but for some reason it just takes me ages to wake up. Considering I only take. I only get, like, I've only had. I have, like, three hours of sleep. For some reason, it takes me like longer than that to wake up. Anyway, also my eyes are like burning. But we're playing some Isaac, some The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, which has like 60% positive reviews, 40% negative, which is um quite large. Which I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm sort of sort of mixed on because like I I like it, but I also haven't played Isaac for months and months and months before it came out. But people, I don't know if people expected more from it. I I know that the mod side of things has been a disappointment in terms of um, a lot of it just isn't there, the example mods don't even work, um, it's only available on Windows even though the game is available on uh, OS X and Linux. I don't know man, but I, I, in terms of everything else, I, I mean, it, this, it says on the storm page exactly what there was going to be, <laughs> you know, and, and they're there. A lot Because a lot of people are saying, like, oh, th they've got this item, which is the same as from Antibirth, and this item, which is the same as from fucking Antibirth. Well, I, I mean, honestly, though, wh what are you going to do? Like, they've been making it for a year. This, this item is the same as Antibirth. I haven't played Antibirth. If I had played Antibirth, I, and I saw an item in Antibirth that was in Afterbirth Plus that was very similar, I probably wouldn't say anything, because put it this way, the game is you use Wasad to move around and you use the arrow keys to shoot. The, the, the fact that they've got hundreds and hundreds of items and synergies and possibilities into it, as it is, and the fact that like, when it came out there was already quite a lot there, and then they added more and more and more and more. Honestly, like, they're gonna get some similar items if people keep wanting stuff from them. And th this is why they're, 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 they're stopping now. This is why they're handing it over to the community is because you know, Edmund in particular is uh, sort of a bit burnt out on the series. He wants to work on other stuff, and I guess his team is is uh, happy to do that with him. Um, it's not like a a two K. Oh, what what's his name? I don't remember the the the, the uh, Ken Levine. It's not like a Ken Levine situation with Bioshock, where it's like he created it and and you know uh, propelled it forward. But now he's he's. He feels like he's done with the series and he's happy to move on, but the 2K games want to want to keep going and bring out another game at some point in the future. Um, it's not like that. Like Edmund wants to move on, and it seems like his team does as well. Um, so it, it seems to me it makes sense that they're, they're handing it over to the the community. I wish they did so in in a better fashion. In that I wish the modern capabilities, well, I wish the modern tools are a bit more you know, like functional, I guess. But I, I think it's fine. I think in the long run, it's added great value for money, honestly. I know the mods there before, there's going to be just so many more mods now, and, and like, complain all you want, but it's 7 quid, full price. What was it, like, 460 Or, like, it's 666 dollars? Well, <laughs> right as I'm trying to, like, swing back for the game, it does it does that. That's, I mean, damn, that fucking threw my entire little, little conversational, well, not conversational, like, little thought train that I had going on. <laughs> threw it completely off course. I'm going, dude. I fucking I went to jail for this this game. I'll what what's the line? I just ruined my reference immediately because I don't remember the six years of probation. I went to jail for this woman. I've been to bat for this woman. I've taken bats to people's bats. Bend over backwards. 
for this woman. That's what I was going for. But the, I mean, refs didn't quite pan out. Um, Perthro, please. I didn't shoot the fire. You know what? The game's it's thrown me right off. Point is, I think long term, good effing s my d my dude is was not the other one. I'm I'm I, I'm happy with it. Um, honestly, some cool new stuff in it. Because I think to me, I only paid like three, three, three summit for it, like three forty. I think I paid because I had some money left over in my, my Steam account from some TF2, um, from the the festive, festivized thing in TF2 that I bought. But you can't just buy it directly. You have to add four pound to your Steam account and then buy it for like two eighty or whatever it was. So I had some money left over, so it, I got like I guess like a discount, you could say. Um, just using that leftover money, and I, I, I am like, I'm like nice. It's, I act like shit. Don't phase me. Inside it drives me crazy. My insecurities could eat me alive, dude. This is driving me insane. So I actually discovered. So it, it's different in the recording. What happens to what happens on my end? I think maybe I should try a different recording software with it, because what actually happens is. So what happens on your guys' end is essentially the recording freezes, and then that's it. And I have to stop the recording and restart the game. So so it all cuts off. So all these times when it's cut off, and then I've been like, oh no, this has happened. It's not actually been recording because it's the it's the, the recording that stopped. Uh, but what actually happens on my end is the game keeps going, but the audio just stops. Basically, the audio all disappears and just turns into this like crackle where it goes like crack, crack, crack. So that's what's been happening on my end, but on, on Bandicam's end is when, when that crackle sets in, the recording just stops, which I didn't realise. So I was going like, oh no, the uh, the the audio is cut out, blah blah blah, and then coming back, but I didn't realise that when the audio was cut out, I didn't realise the recording stopped, so... Probably didn't make much sense, I'm talking and all of a sudden it like jump cuts and then I'm like, oh I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> you're like, what what just happened? I don't understand. <laughs> But I, I didn't realise that the recording was stopping when that was happening. Which leads me to believe that maybe it's a compa compatibility issue with Bandicam. Which is interesting. Um, I'll see if I can get OBS working with it. I, I, OBS doesn't really work for me anymore. For no reason. But I'm not going to go into that because there's a lot of heartache at the time. And ball ache in specific. A lot of just general achage at the time of my OBS breaking. So I'm not going to go into it now. But um, that doesn't really work for me. Yeah, I'll see if I can find something else that works. Because I know, to be fair, I know SideQuest said he had problems uh, recording it at all. He said, he said he just can't record it. It just doesn't work for him. I don't know the, the ins and outs of the specifics of that situation, but I know that he just he, he's just not in a, a position where he can record it, unfortunately. Um, I also know that some people have had problems even just like playing the game in the first place. Um, but I've not. So I don't know. That's why I've not mentioned it. Although to be fair, taking the gander, I've mentioned the good and the bad. But next taking the gander, I actually really look forward to. It's uh, Guardians of Ember. I'm doing. Um, and I've actually there was another game I was gonna do before it, but I've pushed it back slightly because like, in the spare time I have had to play, taking the gander at research games, or to research taking the gander at games, I was playing in, uh, this other game, which I'm not gonna name yet, because um, it'll be a little while away, but um, not too long, because it's only like a little arcade game. But, Guardians, I've just been playing Guardians of Ember instead, because it's, it's really good, actually. Um, which, I, I don't know, I'm not saying that, like, surprised or anything. Like, it, I, when I saw it, because I requested it, they didn't, like, send it to me, which is what happens sometimes. Um, and I was like, this, this looks pretty cool, I'll check it out. Um, but the, the pictures were, like, all... Like, they'd removed the hood and stuff, so the pictures were all, like, specifically made. Like, the screenshots are made to look good, if that makes sense. So I was like, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's in early access. Um, you know, we'll just see how it goes. And I've started playing it, and it's, like, actually really good. <laughs> I, I've, I've only put about two and a half hours into it so far. I'm, like, just about... I actually put, no, I, I probably about an hour and a half, actually, because I, I, there was some... Um... No, maybe like two hours, but I think I spent about half an hour making my character. So probably about two hours total, including that character making. Um, so I'm sort of, I'm just getting out of the, like, the, you know, 
get acquainted with the game. I've done a, a few little quests and stuff. Oh, I, I shouldn't have tried that. I've done like a few quests and stuff and uh, started leveling my character. Game's really fun. It's like Path of Exile or like Diablo 3 if you've played, played anything like that. That style of game. Um, why was this relevant? I, mean, I, I was talking about this for a reason, but I don't remember why. Like, I wasn't just randomly like, hey, I'm going to talk about Guardians of Ember for a minute. I don't remember why I was talking about it, though. Okay, <laughs> never mind. The game's cool, though. You check out Guardians of Ember. Like I said, I'll have taken a gander out on it soon. Um, just because it's really fun. Why, why was I saying that? I was talking about this game. And... Oh, just because taking a gander out and then they're saying about how even if I'm not experiencing them, if I talk about the positives, I should talk about the known negatives. This game doesn't work for some people. I've not experienced that. I'll say that much, although the audio... I, I think that's a recording issue, honestly. Because with the fact that the recording stops out and also the fact that I've now put, like, outside of recording, maybe about 10 hours into it, and into Afterwards Plus, and that, that hasn't actually happened to me when I've not been recording, if that makes sense. Because I've not been, like if I'm playing Siege, I'm always recording. Or at least I have instant replay on in NVIDIA Share. But with this, I've been, um... Just like... I have no reason to record full runs. I've just been recording, like, having it ready so that when I, I come to a boss room, I can, I can, uh... Set the recording going in case it's a new boss. I mean, actually, yeah, I just realised I forgot to turn the, the HUD back on. I turned it off. Do you guys want to see... It's maybe a bit late. I'll, I'll ask again at the start of the next episode. But I, I quite like Founthood. But I also think that... It, it, there's, it, there's quite a lot on the screen when I have all these. So let me know if you guys want Founthood on or off. I just know that NL was asking in Antibirth, I think, actually. He was like, hey, do you guys want me to play with Founthood? And then, like, everyone wanted him to play with Founthood. So, um... I'll leave it on for now. Let me know if you guys want otherwise. Uh, but yeah. I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on. But anyway. Let's continue. But yeah, I, I had I just had both the hoods turned off for the boss showcase video. Just for the sake of... Um, I try and go... There's three ways I can go. And I go through the one way I can't actually even go at all. Just to, to neaten up the recording a bit, I guess. I need to message someone to reply to an email. I just remembered. Inside it drives me crazy. My insta That song's actually going to be in my head all day now. And it's my fault entirely. Because sometimes I feel like the world's on my shoulders. Everyone's... I can barely see anything at all. Leaning on me. It's a pretty good song. It's Haley's song, by the way, by by M. In case anyone didn't know, from 2002, smash fucking hit album, the Eminem show. 24 million copies sold. No seconds hesitate. No, 27 million. Slim Shady LP was 24. Killer Af album. And then Encore was 22, I think. I could just be like wrong on that, honestly. I know MMLP was like 37 million, Recovery was 17, um, Relapse was, Relapse was more than, a th no, Relapse was, was like 9 million, or like, no, 7, I think on the Wikipedia it's like 7.3 million, and then MMLP2 was like 3.8, because it's, it was in 2013 it came out, we're, we're in a modern era by that point, CDs don't exist anymore. Because I only have um, MMLP, Slim Shady LP, and uh, Curtain Call on, on CD so far. I'm gonna eventually have every album, but for now that's all I have. Yeah, I was waiting for that to happen, honestly. I couldn't get the, the Lilith in there in time. Oh, why did I think I was gonna dodge that? God, there's such an awkward room for this. Right, you know, honestly, just... We'll make it a bit easier here. Because I don't want to take any more damage, mostly. For fucking hell! 
Lily, Lily is my least favorite character, by the way. I think from like a, I guess like a design, from like a gameplay standpoint, she's actually like pretty interesting, pretty fun. But I, in terms of like me playing, she's just my least favorite because I, I just can't. I'm just really bad at her. like spatial awareness. You guys know is like I think something I trouble with. So having to like shoot on this sort of delay with the, the following, I, it, it just fucks my head a little bit. I, I just I'm really awful at aiming with it. Um, but anyway, so it feels like it, it takes more for Lilith to get like powerful. If that makes sense. Like she feels weaker from the start, and then just generally, even when she's getting like damage up, it feels like s just slightly less. Which is like maybe completely incorrect. I don't actually like. There's no uh, science backing that one up. I may just be bullshit there, but like that's just just the sort of feel I get. So obviously, like if I'm feeling that when I'm playing it, probably not not the best uh, way to feel. You know, I just disregard that train of thought. I'm gonna. This is the only episode I'm recording today. Tomorrow when I'm record, I'm recording and I'm doing Isaac like the last, not last thing, but like sort of closer to the end of the day. So while I've been like fully awake and recording for at least a couple hours, but I didn't see that he was still alive. At least like maybe three or four hours by the time I get around to recording Isaac. So I'll be fully awake, fully energetic, um, and my brain will be uh, working. Let's do. Um, let's try. I'm also gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Cause I'll have more time tomorrow to actually just bang out good episodes. I'm only gonna do runs that actually go far. So if I die halfway through a run, it won't make it today. However, let's try a couple of rounds of ultra hard. Let me get my timer up and I'll go for like I don't know, five, ten minutes, and we'll see if we can make a make a run out of it. Uh, ultra hard, if you're not familiar. Oh, dead tooth. Actually, you haven't had. Whoa. It looks like a fart force field. Oh, that's actually like. I feel like it's not going to be very good, but it looks dope. Oh uh, yeah, po it's like a f poison force field. Oh, nice, I like it. This is essentially Curse of the Labyrinth, Curse of the Unknown. Unknown's que uh, question mark items, right? So yeah, Curse of the Labyrinth, Curse of the Maze as well, so you teleport. So all three of the, the worst curses. Labyrinth, Maze, Unknown. Um, every enemy that can be a, a champion will be. Because not every not every enemy has champion forms, so every enemy that you come across that has a champion form will be a champion. Um, and things like the void, which you just saw then, the, the enemy spawner. Uh, if they spawn enemies, they don't come out champion. But any enemy that starts in a room that has a champion form will be champion, as you can see now. There goes a deal with the devil. Also, every floor is uh, XL as well. Oh, XL's Curse of the Maze. Which one's Curse of the Teleport, then? Dude, I like this force field. It, it's not the greatest item in the world, it's just cool. 36% chance to deal with the devil. I'll take it. Probably not going to get it, but we'll see. Um, and that... I believe is pretty much it. And then other than that, it's just you have to go all the way to... Um, Mega Satan. And, and, and kill his, his punk ass. At least, like, it's not... There is item rooms. Okay, yeah, like... No devil deal. Like, there is item rooms and boss rooms, so it's, like, full, full items. There's no D6, though. Ah, plus 35. I don't know why I just got that back. Oh, because it's like you lose it and then um, you lose it for that room. That's why they say, like, if you take red heart damage, just then at least try and not take damage on the boss. Ah, oh, I get it now. I always wondered why that was. I thought that was, like, specifically because if you take damage on the boss, you've got less chance. But it's actually just if you take damage in any room, it goes down for that room. Which, actually, I, I never knew. Hematemesis. They just, they not just take half a heart and not give me anything. Awesome. What a cool feature that is. Oh god, here we go. Um, this way, and then up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we'll give this like a few times. I'm not gonna make it very far. I mostly just wanna. I have limited time on God's green earth, and I wanna I wanna try and get. Oh, and well, I basically needed to get an episode out today, and because like I said, and then tomorrow I'm gonna sit down and record like. Five or six episodes, but I'm I'm gonna disregard any runs that don't get past like mom, mom don't get past like the womb one at the very least. So hopefully they'll start being uh being decent. I I also think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing some challenges as well. Um, I wanna try and do Pokemon's. April's Fools can fuck off for a long, long time. 
This one could probably fuck off for a while, but I would like to try and do, um, at the very least, Pong on, uh, on camera. Because I've already done that, but I think it could just be fun, you know? And then maybe uh, back afterwards, which I'm, I'm still sorry over that they didn't take the great opportunity to reference the Tech 9 song there. Back. No. Bass Ackwards, there we go. I'm so confused, I keep getting the team mixed up. I keep calling the challenge Bass Ackwards, like, which is why I keep having to, when I need to talk to it, I'm, talk to it, talk about it, I'm always like, oh, the challenge, um, Back Ackwards. Like, I'm always hesitant to say it, in case, in case I say, Ass Back, Back Ackwards? Back. Bass Ackwards. See, I'm mixing them up. I can't, I can't. It's too much of me, it's too much of my brain. Ooh, buddy. I'm looking forward to the Apollyon episode. It's just taking a very, very long time. It's had like four and a half hours total to upload. It's got it's a 59%, and it's not yet popped up. Like it, it will say once it hits three hours left of the upload, it will say three hours. No, three and a half hours. I think actually, it will say the three and a half hours remaining. So if you if you upload a video, it's gonna take less than three and a half hours. It'll tell you how much is remaining, but. Um, if it's more than three and a half hours, it just doesn't say how much is remaining until it gets to the point where it's three and a half hours. I think it's three and a half hours, it might be three, I don't really remember. But, um, Mongo Baby. Mom's Pearl. Yeah, not the greatest item set. Spinning thighs can be, can be quite good. Um, yeah, and it's a 59% and it doesn't even say the time yet, which means that it's got at least three and a half hours left. <laughs> And it's at fifty nine percent, which is it's huge. Um, fortunately, I do already have. I have a video going up at one today, and then that'll go up at four, I think. Hopefully, actually, it's four minutes past twelve now. So if it, it might not even be done uploading by four, which is unfortunate because I did want to stream today, but I'm not going to be able to do that now because I'll be uploading the video. Um, so I'll probably wait until. Uh, Wait, I'll, I'll stream tomorrow. Because my dad's home anyway today. Um, he's not now, currently. They've gone out for a little bit. I, I mentioned before that I'm okay streaming when I'm home. Because, like, I'm, I'm okay. If it's streaming, okay, just, like, doing a chill, casual stream. And just, like, not talking too loudly or anything. And just, like, having a chat with, with the chat and stuff. Maybe even listen to some music. Maybe just, just playing something, like, really, really chill and really casual. Um, whatever I feel like playing. But when I record, I've got to be like this. I've got to be like, and it, not energetic, but like it's it's much louder. And my my house is like quite, not super thin, but like quite thin walls, in that you can usually hear like, like if I was talking like this, you'd probably hear downstairs. Not maybe not specifically what I was saying, but at the very least, you'd hear that I was talking. And it's just like, I don't know. I I, I feel like my my dad probably okay with it, but I feel a bit like, I don't know not great doing it. So it's like, so I talk about choir in the streams, but then in in the videos, I can be properly energetic. And um, and say things, say things. You know, just have energy and, and be able to be loud if I want. And because um, it's not like I'm one of these super fully energetic, loud YouTubers, but like I'm loud enough that it's noticeable. If that makes sense. I don't know if any of this is making sense. Hopefully it is. Um, but at least tomorrow, because there's, there's gonna be no one home. So when I stream, I can I can deliver full energy to the, to the stream as well. Nothing in that chest. Awesome. What I'm gonna stream, I don't know yet. Um, uh, like, I actually I haven't decided, but at least I've got some time to think about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to... In a way, it's sort of good, because I have a, a bunch of work to do. I'm just constantly putting off and off and off. So having this video have, is going to take all afternoon to upload. In, instead of me streaming, it's going to give me a great opportunity to like get some work done. Both, both YouTube and college, actually. So that's good. I'm glad. I'm really motivated with YouTube, because... That's the thing. Like I've, I've, I've been. My content's been getting better. Oh god, I just got my ass handed to me, really quickly. There. Like I, my content's, in terms of what I've actually been making, I've been putting more work into it, and it's been turning out more. It's been turning out better, and so I've been like really happy with it. But also like, my content's been doing really well, especially in the past few days. Like the Isaac stuff's been doing incredibly well. We'll see the eldest, the uh, someone set Isles video went up. But that's that's uh, beat a hundred feet, two hundred views even, which is was quite good. And got a f got a few comments. I just like really like interactions, and recently I've been getting getting much more of those. And just generally, the videos are doing really well. And there was the NLSS um, blurred lines video I did last night, <laughs> which is really stupid. And at the time, I was like, 
I did about a minute of the song because I was like, this is just gonna. If I do any more of this, it's just gonna get like boring and repetitive and like like I, th I feel like after about a minute, the joke was was happened. The joke had happened. It, it, it like lived its life and then it was like, okay, there it is. I feel like if I did the whole song, it would have just got like really boring. Having said that, when I was rewatching it this morning, because it was like I'd, I uploaded it, tweeted it out, and then turned my computer off, and was watching like a Twitch stream on my phone for about half an hour, and then Nonline retweeted it. He liked it, and then there was like a two-minute pause, and then he retweeted it. So I think he, I don't know. I think he might have watched it, but regardless, um, he retweeted it, and then I was like, oh, I'll, I'll. At this point, it was about ten to four. I was like, I'll stay up like another fifteen minutes just to see. See the likes come in. It's now my most liked tweet, which is cool. I was like, I don't know. I think I had like 41 likes or something. My previous most was like 18, which incidentally was also an NLSS based thing. It was when way back in the day when they were talking about the the bread hierarchy. I made my own visual represent visual representation of my own bread hierarchy in, in paint and tweeted it out of them and, that, and Nick retweeted it. Something I've got like 20. And then previous to that, like, the most likes one of my own tweets has ever had is, like, 13. And that was literally just me saying, it, like, it was out with the old, in with the new, and it was a picture of my old mouse, and the next to it, a picture of my new mouse. <laughs> and then it got a like from, like, a bunch of people in the speedrunning community who, who like, really like the G502. It's a very good mouse. I'd probably get another one if it broke. Which I know I said that about the Imperator, but, like, this one actually, though. Um... I really like it. I really dig it. Um, having said that, thank you very much for watching this episode. Sorry it's been kind of shit. Um, we're going to try and actually get some stuff going. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be disregarding like the really bad runs. So uh, we'll be we we'll getting some uh, some good runs in there. And I'm getting back into the... Like I mentioned a couple of episodes, not being used to the whole... Well, just this commentary type, this video, this sort of commentary for this series, like I said, I used to, this used to be the series where I'd like go off on tangents, you know, talk about topics, tell stories, I feel like I'm already getting back into that, so, um, I'll look forward to it, thank you for watching, my name's Vignetti, I'll see you guys next time, peace, peace guys.